What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Ileana. If you guys are already part of this wonderful family, you guys already know the drill. Thank you guys so much for continuing to watch and to support. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the very well-known and very talked about collection, the newest from ColourPop. They did a collaboration with Harry Potter and I know everybody is talking about this collection. I had to get my hands on it. I also show you guys a couple of swatches as well from the palette. So if that's something that interests you, make sure that you keep on watching. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications and let's just go ahead and jump into the video because it's been a long time coming. Your girl is back to recording for YouTube and I'm so excited to show you guys this look. Let's go. We are going to be starting off with, of course, the eyeshadow palette. Now, this is the star of the show. This is the Harry Potter collection with ColourPop. I'm very, very excited for this. I actually picked mine up from Ulta. Now, Ulta did not have everything from the collection. Of course, if you want to get everything, you have to go to the website. Um, I don't know why they didn't have everything. That was a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. So the retail value of this was $30, and this is the Bag to Hogwarts palette. This does contain, I believe, 24 shades. Here's something that I just want to put out there. I am not a huge Harry Potter fan. I have not seen all of the movies. I have seen maybe one or two. I've tried getting into it when I was a teenager like 10 years ago and it was just not my cup of tea however this collection is definitely making me very excited for harry potter like when i saw this and i'm not even a huge harry potter fan and i wanted the collection so it's kind of giving me like maybe i should give harry potter another chance maybe i should rewatch it and try to get into it because i mean my husband tends to like these kind of things so I'm gonna go ahead and give it another shot and watch the movies. So keep up with that. So it does have that blue cover and it has a little cutout. So this is the actual palette inside, but it does look very, very beautiful. Like I mentioned, it does have 24 shades and you can see all of the shade names on the back as well. So let's just go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the packaging is just like a slide out. I thought it was a little book, but it's a slide out. Open it up like a little book and you guys look at the inside of the packaging. It looks so pretty. It looks beautiful. This is just like stunning and I love that the layout of it is not like a typical eyeshadow palette like this. The shade names do read across like on the le top left like that so it is supposed to be meant for like a book feeling like a spell book which I love. I'm excited to just try this out and I mean this color story is literally so beautiful like you can do so many fall looks with this even if you're not a harry potter fan all right so the number one thing that i do notice right away is that this palette does not have a mirror which you know if it retails for 30 dollars, which for ColourPop can seem a little pricey if you ask me that is a little pricey but you do get 24 shades so it's almost like a little over maybe a dollar a shade or so so it's not too bad but I would definitely love a mirror in it. However, it would kind of take away from this whole like spell book feel. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first shade that I wanna be going into, I do wanna go in for more of a fall look. We're gonna start off by taking this shade right here. This is Marauder's Map. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering all of these names again. <laughs> I have not watched all of their movies, so kind of mix in a little bit of this Enchanted Keys shade right here, which is a very, very beautiful gray tone. Those are the first two that we will be going in with. Now, typically, ColourPop does have very beautiful shadows. They are relatively affordable compared to other brands, um, and their quality is usually always very, very good, so... As far as quality goes, I'm not too concerned about it because ColourPop has never really disappointed me when it comes to quality. So again, I'm just mixing those two shades right now to just kind of get some color on the lids, but it's looking very, very nice. So now I'm gonna be kind of warming up the eyes a little bit and I'm gonna be adding some of this Great Haul in there and we'll see where this takes us. Like I said, I have not done any fall look yet. And wow, this is very pretty. First of all, this shade, you have to be very light-handed with it because it actually came off very pigmented. A lot more pigment pigmented than I thought. But do you guys see how it's just blending out very seamlessly? Like, with very little effort, it's just blending so beautifully. Okay, I kind of want to add a little bit of a yellow shade, kind of as a transition. 
and I'm kind of feeling this Hufflepuff shade right here. Create a little bit of a transition in between here, and then I'm gonna pop a like more cream shade on the inner corner, but immediately the pigment is crazy. Like, oh my goodness. I don't know how the camera is picking this up, but it's very, very pigmented. So I'm going to take this really, really bright shade right here, which is this first shade right here, and I'm going to throw that all over like the inner corner area. And then going back and forth, I'm going to blend in that Hufflepuff, which is that yellow shade that I kind of use to really brighten up that yellow. But I really want to create more like an ombre effect, if you will, to the eye. So I'm going to pick up this shade. I believe this is the shade Lumos. Plop it in the inner corner. Ooh, very pretty. Like every single shade that I have dipped into has not disappointed me. And I'm kind of obsessed with the way this is coming out. So now I'm going to kind of blend a little bit of that Hufflepuff shade back in here. And then I will start blending everything together. All right, so these are the vibes that we are getting with the eye look. I am actually really obsessed with the way that it's coming out. Again, I didn't use every shade in the palette. I didn't use many shades, actually. Maybe use like four or five. But I will go ahead and swatch a couple of them out for you as well, just so you guys can kind of see a little bit of the vibes of the palette. So the shades that I'm actually really, really interested in is like this Forbidden Forest. It has like a very, very unique look to it. So I am curious to swatch it. It does feel a little bit chunky. So let's go ahead and swatch this one out right here. This is definitely more like a topper shade, but it is very, very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the one right next to it as well. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then this other one, ooh, this is a nice peachy shade, but it looks kind of like a duo chrome shade. I definitely wanna swatch out this green. This green is really calling my name. I might throw that under my eyes afterwards, but let's go ahead and swatch this guy out. So this is Slytherin. Ooh, very, very beautiful forest green. Green is my favorite color, of course. That is very, very pretty. So the quality seems to be very consistent with the eyeshadows. I'm going to swatch one more. This is pumpkin juice, just because I've been obsessed with pump... That's very pretty. I've been obsessed with pumpkin. I might throw this one under my, sh my eyes, actually. This might be my favorite shade, and that is like definitely on par with the season. So I'm very excited to just create different fall looks with this palette. It's very, very appropriate for the season. And as far as the shades go, I mean, they're definitely very consistent as far as quality. So it is $30. Like I said, it's a little bit pricier for ColourPop, but I really think you get what you pay for in this palette. Um, the only downside is it doesn't have the mirror in it, which I know can be very convenient when you do have a mirror inside your palette. But other than that, I really think that this is a palette that is well worth the $30 from what I've seen so far. These shades look very, very beautiful and promising. I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup. I did pick up a liquid lipstick, one of their Lux Velvet lipsticks that I do want to swatch on camera and apply with you guys also. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, throw on my lashes, and then we'll come back for that lippy. All right, so I went ahead and I finished the rest of my face makeup and I did apply my lashes. I also did apply a brown winged liner because I think it was just really appropriate for this look. So I'm going to go back in here and I do want to smear a little bit of this pumpkin juice shade underneath the eyes just to kind of add a little bit of a pop of color and really bring out that fall vibe to the look. This shade is super pretty and I cannot wait to create looks using this shade because it is just so pretty. And I feel like with my green eyes, it really makes them pop a little bit more. So I do think I want to just take it up another notch. I'm going to go back in with the same shade I was using before, which is Great Hall, which is that brown, brownie shade. And I'm going to just smear that like kind of on the outer corner of the lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Yeah, I definitely like that a lot better. All right, so the next product that we are going to be reviewing and trying on camera is the ColourPop Harry Potter Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And this is says H. Gringer, which I believe is Hermani. Hermani Gringer. I believe I'm pronouncing her last name correctly, but 
um I, she's just so cute on this packaging this packaging i don't think i will ever throw away when packaging is as cute as this i like to keep it and treasure it forever so this is definitely one of those things this is what the um lipstick looks like so these harry potter liquid lipsticks do retail for ten dollars and this one according to the ulta website um it does say that it is a warm peachy nude so let's go ahead and swatch this one out now i have used ColourPop's luxe liquid lipsticks and they are very very nice formulas like I really do like these I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this color out right here okay very peachy and it does have that like nude color which I think is gonna look very pretty with this um, look it's a little bit more orangey than I expected it because when you see it in the container when you see it in the container it doesn't look that bright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it just straight onto my lips and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a lip liner and really like polish the look in the end. I always like to set my lips with a powder before applying any um, lip product on. So let's go ahead and try this out. It's a lot brighter than I thought. I think it's coming off way brighter on camera than in person, but Okay, so this is what the lipstick looks like. Now it's coming off very, very, very bright compared to what I thought it was going to be. So they do have three different liquid lipsticks in the collection with Harry Potter and ColourPop. However, I didn't even look at the colors. I just kind of picked this packaging because I do know this character and she's very, very cute on the packaging. So I was like, I'm going to just, I'm just going to grab this one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some lip liner just to deepen out the lip a little bit because I feel like it's a little on the bright side however it does kind of coordinate with that perp I mean that pumpkin like color underneath the eyes I am going to go ahead and deepen it out a little bit now to line the lips I'm going to be taking my NYX lip pencil this one is in the shade nude truffle and it's not too crazy deep it's kind of just like a nice nude shade so I'm going to try this one and if I feel like it's not deep enough then I'm going to go in with Toasty from Jaclyn Cosmetics but let's try this one. you guys so that pretty much wraps up today's video now my overall thoughts on the stuff that i did try out from this collection i have to give an a to the palette this palette actually blew my mind i'm so excited to keep playing around with it there's a lot of beautiful fall colors in here so i feel like this palette even if you're not a harry potter fan is totally appropriate and affordable for the fall season and especially going into holidays like there's a lot of really pretty shades in here that you can definitely use for the upcoming seasons so i'm definitely very 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 intrigued by this palette and I definitely think it was worth the money when I first saw the price point I did think that $30 was a little bit high up there for Colourpop however after trying it out and swatching out the other shades that I did swatch I was really impressed with the quality. Colourpop did not come to play when it came to quality. It was very consistent throughout the whole palette. So I'm very excited to keep playing around with this and definitely create some more looks. So be on the lookout. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys head over there so you guys can see other looks that I create using this palette. Now, the Luxe Liquid Lipstick. I think that this shade was really bright. It was a lot more bright than I thought it was going to be. But again, the formula is amazing. I have tried these before with other collections and I have been obsessed with the ones that I have tried so I'm really really happy with this. I'm so sad I didn't get my hands on the highlighters because the packaging on those were absolutely beautiful and I really wanted to try those. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I am so excited to just be recording again and to be back on YouTube. It's been a crazy, crazy, hectic couple of months with my wedding and everything. I do want to do a sit down video of just me recreating the bridal look that I did on myself on my wedding day and just kind of go over and show you guys some pictures and clips of my actual wedding. So if you that's something that is interesting to you, make sure you let me know down in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you guys are enjoying the content. But other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Ciao.